hey guys welcome back to my video i hope that you guys can hear me i am being kind of quiet because all of the kids are home it's thursday december 9th and um i'm taking a pregnancy test guys i if you are one of my subscribers and you watch my content then you know that we are family planning right now natural doing natural family planning for preventative um but <clears throat> i haven't really felt off at all but um i do track my ovulation that's what natural family planning is every month i use the easy at home strips i find my peak and make sure i stay away from my husband <laughs> for those three or four days um and then around 8 dpo i follow it up with one of the pregnancy tests just to make sure um i make sure that um, i'm not pregnant just because if i do become pregnant by chance i would need to go on progesterone inserts um just because i have a history of recurrent miscarriages so um i for for november or wait what are we we're in december yeah so for november i went ahead and i tracked my um natural family planning i'm actually i i shared that um that month's tracking back during vlogmas i'm speaking to you guys now well i guess this will be from the past if if you're seeing this video right now i'm pregnant and i recorded it back like i said december 9th but you guys won't see this video if I am pregnant until maybe March, February, March sometime. Um, so I did the 8DPO pregnancy test just like I do every month and I'm not sure and it's not even worth me showing you guys on camera because you wouldn't be able to see it but I think I see a faint line and then um, for the last two days, Coco has been acting really, really weird towards me. My breast milk supply has dropped. She just turned a year old, actually, maybe about four, yeah, four days ago now. My milk supply suddenly just dropped um, and she is acting very clingy, but it's weird because she's clingy, but she doesn't, but she's very uneasy in my arms, but she only wants to be in my arms, if that makes sense. And she just wants to nurse non-stop all day all night um she's already a comfort nurser but let's talk about this more in a minute let me dip these tests this morning i'm gonna take another easy at home and so here we are clean test don't mind my nails they need to be done so i'm gonna go ahead and dip that one And these tests you dip until you start to see the um, urine running across the strip. So I'm gonna set that down. Let me put that over there. And then just for confirmation, I'm about five days out from my cycle. Um, I am 90 PO today, so five or six days, but easy at home, six days sooner. Dip this for five seconds. Waiting for that to run across. Sorry about the uh, quality of this video. There it is. Sorry about the quality of this video. Um, I'm putting that upside down. I'm recording with my phone. Like I said, I can't set up like I usually would. All the kids are home. Brandon is at work and whew, I don't know. As soon as I mentioned Brandon's name, my heart just started to beat really fast. I don't know why. But um, so while we wait the three minutes for those to develop, um, like I was saying, Coco, she's, she wants me, but she's uneasy in my arms and she just wants to nurse, nurse, nurse. She's already a comfort nurser, but I don't know how to explain it. This is just like beyond, beyond anything that I've experienced with her so far. 
So I'm like, is she picking up on a possible pregnancy? And this will be crazy because I successfully caught my peak and waited before I was intimate with Brandon um, until well after. So I know that, you know, these strips give you the luteinizing hormone and you can ovulate anywhere from 24 to 48 hours from then. So like I said, I waited until well past then. So I would be really, really surprised if um, if I am pregnant, I would be very, very surprised. Um, oh, my stomach is starting to feel funny. Um, oh, I don't know why I feel so anxious. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I just need to gather myself. I don't know why I feel so much anxiety right now. Like, I feel like I want to jump out of my skin just suddenly i don't know why okay um what well, i i even lost my train of thought oh so what i was gonna say is um i received the covid vaccine i even though it's not something that i'm totally on board with I decided to go ahead and get it because I got a physician in the hospital working directly with COVID patients. And I know that the vaccine does not prevent um, COVID, but it does minimize your symptoms if you do get it. And I just felt like the benefits outweighed the risk. And I'm the only one who got it in, you know, in my family. Of course, I'm not letting my kids get it. Brandon doesn't want it. And I'm fine with that. I just, you know, for me, since I'm right there working the front lines in the ER with these patients, I just thought it would be best. <sighs> okay, let me stop talking so much and look at these tests. <sighs> so we'll look at the um, easy at home first. You guys probably can't see it. There is a shadow there. 